Hey guys, it's John here from Lando Technology and today we're going to look at the Doro Experience on the laptop. As you can see we've got the Doro Experience loaded. Uh, I was going to try and do a screen record of this, uh, however it was proven very difficult because the software runs over the top of Windows. So I've decided just to record the video and show you guys what's here. So Doro Experience is obviously an experience to make the laptop life easier for everyone. Uh, especially elderly users, disabled users and possibly even kids to an extent. So what I'll do is I'll quickly go through the settings and show you what's on here. Uh, and obviously you can read the full review online at landoftechnology.com. Okay, so you can see you've got email straight away, contacts, pictures, video chat. And if we go over here to the world tab, we have devices, my kiosk, which is essentially bookmarks, internet, office, memos, and if we look at leisure, we've got cards, video, music, and draw. And then more, we have the calendar, calculator, selection, which is like an app market, and settings. Up the top, we have help. We have the ability to zoom in. We also have volume control, as you can see. And we have the ability to basically run a CD or DVD and check the network settings. As you can see, it's working fine. One of the strangest things is this lock unlock. Uh, if I click lock, you get the tick button. Uh, but it stays unlocked all the time anyway, so even if I hit the X button. If I hit power, you have the ability to shut down the computer, switch to Windows, or exit the Doro software which we're not going to do. So let's quickly go back to start and let's look at the email interface. As you can see before, we just go to the email interface. You've got the time, the date, the weather, obviously not for my location, uh, showing the weather for London. So let's go ahead and look at email anyway. So you can either read, write or video mail. The video mail service uh, uses Skype. Uh, we'll cover that just quickly in a very few moments. So we get to read. You have the ability to check your inbox, check what you've sent, check your drafts and check your junk mail. And in the inbox you can see I've got an email here from Doro. And you just go ahead and open that. And there you go, you can read the email. You can also print the email, reply, forward and delete it. Okay, let's go back in there. Sorry, I should have hit back. Okay, let's go back. Uh, composing an email is just literally you just add the recipient uh, and type the message. Okay, so contacts comes up with a phone book and it's quite easy to create a contact. Just create a contact card, put the details in, and save it. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all of this properly because uh, it is just an overview. So pictures, it doesn't take any pictures from your current PC, uh, so if you already have pictures on there it won't import them. You have to create new albums. Uh, as you can see over here just on the right hand side you can create an album. Type the album name and tick that. And that creates a new album. The album's empty. Okay. Obviously you would get the pictures imported from either the web or you've got access to the CD and DVD drives, so you can do it that way as well. Video chat, you'll see straight away it tells me that the Skype settings are not uh, set up, so we'll cover that in a few moments uh, once we get to that section. Okay, just hit home again, sorry. And in the world section you've got internet, my kiosk devices, office and memos, internet, uh, pretty much is what it says on the tin. It's uh, its own browser. Uh, so let's just quickly bring up our website. Uh, it does remember uh, URLs normally. We'll just quickly, just need to quickly change hands here on the video. And it looks like my website's down, which is uh, highly strange. Oh no, it's up. 
So this is the uh, website view. It doesn't seem to handle embedded videos for some reason. Not quite sure why that is. Uh, it should, oh no it does now. Uh, the previous version it did update recently. Uh, the version before this uh, wasn't able to handle embedded videos. Thanks John here from Magic Technology. And there you go. So it does handle embedded videos. You can see on the other side here you've got the signal strength. You can zoom in on the page. Create a bookmark, capture the page, full screen or print the page as well, which is really useful if you're uh, browsing the web. Okay, uh, back to the world tab again. My kiosk, as I said, was bookmarks. You just go in there and you can view most recently, uh, most viewed, most recent, and you can create folders as well. Devices, uh, as you can see, uh, it's basically your hard drive. Uh, and the DVD drives and stuff. So if you've got a USB key or anything, that would be in there. Office, uh, pretty straightforward. New document, new spreadsheet. Memos, uh, that's not my memo. It's uh, one of the default one. Uh, my mama doesn't know how to make pound cake, so not very likely. I'm going to have that. In the leisure tab, you've got the music, video, cards, and draw. Music has its own player. Uh, you can see tracks. I don't know whose tracks these are, so uh, but you can see over here. Not my style of music at all, uh, but it's quite good that it's there as well. Uh, video, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some demos in here as well. So let's just quickly have a look. The first mobile phones were simple things. They were for calling people. There we go. It's quite nice to hear that in Scottish as well, which is very strange. Cards is just obviously gaming. And draw is just uh, draw pictures on the screen. Okay, and lastly we'll look at the more. We've got a calendar on there. Create entries and stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you also have settings, which allows you to change system settings of the app for automatic startup or display emails from contacts you know pr pretty basic settings you know it's nothing fantastic in there uh, Skype uh, you can see you've got the cameras and stuff it picks up that you've got a camera to, to change the video chat settings it's uh, just a case of Skype login and password and lastly on the more tab is the app store you can go and see straight away what's not installed. They uh, have added some new stuff since the last update. Uh, however, it's mainly just games. It's nothing special. So uh, You can see also what's installed. And you can see all of them. So that is the Doro experience for uh, Windows. Uh, this is an overlay that sits over the top of Windows to make the Windows operating system more usable for the elderly, disabled and young kids. Uh, quite a useful thing, uh, however, obviously being an advanced PC user or uh, a PC user who can handle Windows, uh, this might not be to your suitings. Uh, but the good news is obviously if it is on a PC, uh, it's very easy just to switch back to uh, Windows. You just do that and you're back on Windows. So that's the Toro experience. Hope you enjoyed watching and you can read the full review as I said earlier online at www.landoftechnology.com. Follow us on Twitter at GetTheLot and we're also on Google Plus and Facebook. Thanks for watching guys.